Hey everybody, welcome to the Keep On Wrenching Shop at BD Matson here. Got a little help behind me. We are uh, doing shorter streams and trying to stay super focused on projects. That's kind of the goal here. So uh, it is what, Saturday, about 6.30 here, Eastern Time USA. So what we're working on today is actually a seat. There's Brad. Brad, say hi to the people here on the live stream. Brad's working on the Super Hawk seat. We are going to attempt to put a new cover on this thing. Um, this is an arduous task. We've been kind of working on it here for 10, 15 minutes so far. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, so basically, I don't know if you've ever taken one of these seats apart before, but there's all these metal tabs uh, you can see here. and. Handy dandy pick, we're just prying them open. Um, knock on wood, but none of them have broken. That's the so big far. thing is making sure that these little deal do hookies right here yeah. don't break off. Yeah, they do feel pretty firm. So that's kind of the process, man. That's what we're trying to work through. I've never done a seat before. Um, so I figured, you know, if we're gonna sit here and monkey around with it, we might as well hop live. Brad has done about 40 seats, you said? You've done about 40 seats before? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's not. Uh, we've Neither one of us has ever done this before. So this is new territory, diving into some new ground um, and hanging out. So, you know, on the, the last Thursday stream that we did, people were like, dude, we'd like shorter streams, more shorter streams. So that's kind of what this is going to be. I doubt we're going to get this done in about a half an hour or so. But whatever, let's get to work. If you got tips or tricks or you know, things that we should be looking at as we're kind of working through this thing, please throw that up in the chat. That would be uh, super, super, super nice because uh, I thought this was going to be like kind of straightforward, but it actually looks like kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, There's uh, a nut on that. Pain in, I know. It's like a square. The 350 had just like an aluminum post yeah. that you bent over. Yeah. So this... I don't know. What a small crescent wrench work. It's weird. There's like a little... This one's... That's turning. All right. We it got is a nut, one. though. It's yeah. a nut. Hopefully, there's only... There's like six of them. No way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, I didn't know that. You guys... Anybody rebuild the seat before? Let us know. We're kind of working our way through this. The seat's not in terrible shape, but there are a couple of really deep punctures that we got to deal with. So um, I thought it would be best to uh, actually, I'll show you where I got the uh, seat from. Awesome, awesome website. If you're working on these 305s, I cannot recommend these guys enough. Classic Honda restoration, early 60s Hondas, parts bikes, Tim, rockstar, super rockstar in the business. And we got the uh, the Honda cover. So let me just kind of pivot over here real quick. I'll show you. While Brad kind of keeps bending tabs, um, I'll kind of show you the cover. Here you can see the original strap that was on it. There were just two bolts with it there. Um, came with a new strap. Okay, so we got the new strap. We're going to have to figure that all out. But the seat cover actually does have the Honda emblem on the back side, which is nice. And it's it should fit. It should just be a perfect fit. The form on this seat is actually pretty good. Um, I'm not super worried about that. Um, it's just, this looks like it's gonna be a really tedious freaking deal. Um, yeah, I'm not super excited about it. CB77 late. Um, the early ones didn't have like this little bulge up in the front. They were kind of a flat seat, but this one's got like a little bit of a loop, a little, little jut up on this, so. I don't know. We'll see uh, what happens with this whole with this whole deal. It's an adventure and a half all day long here on the Keep On Wrenching Shop. I'm Can kinda, you buy these seats? Um, I'm sure you could go to Texavina probably and buy one of those seats for sure. I don't really uh, want to get into it. Right. Like one of the goals on the on this uh, project was to try to save as much as we possibly could. But yeah, you could probably go to texavina.com and get one. This is kind of a puzzlement, this strap here. Um, yeah, 
not sure how this is going to work because there's little rivets or like little, yeah, they're, they're basically rivets inside of this leather here. And then they're kind of curtailed. I wonder how close this all comes to lengthwise. I'm not really sure. Let's measure it out. Yeah, it's definitely long, so it's going to have to be trimmed to length once we get to that point, if we ever get to that point, which I'm sure we will. At least things are breaking free, though. Brad here is the uh, owner of the Black uh, Upper Peninsula bike. And we're hoping to have that one done this spring. We just got to put the motor back together. When I say just, it's, it's a process, right? Everything takes a little bit of time. What do you got? The, the CL. And yeah, and he owns the, uh, the, the red CL from the series. I sold the bike to him. Tears coming out of my face right now. Um, yeah, we got a couple of people hanging out here. What are you guys wrenching on? What are you working on? It was a big moving day. I've got a YouTube video getting ready to go live. Something will go live tonight. I just wanted to, to, um, to hop on an actual live stream here for a little while just to give you a little update. You might see behind me here, Superhawk is gone. Superhawk no longer in the shop right now. So that has actually been moved up into the garage. And um, we've got uh, all the bikes that were in the garage that are waiting restoration are now down in the basement. So it was kind of a, kind of a weird day today um, working through some of those processes. Our backs are probably gonna be hurting a little bit tomorrow. So yeah, we're just pulling on these. I say we, and it's actually just Brad. Um, he's doing all the work here right now. But just pulling on these little tabs, you know, hopefully we can get this original cover off without too much damage. So here's the first problem. All right. Um, so these Oop. are little nuts that, um, and I, I, I believe if I remember from the 350 that I took apart, mm -hmm. there's a post and it- Oh, it that holds that. Into like it's flared. Um, that holds this chrome strip. Yeah, and so when you go to loosen that, um, there's sliders. Yep, right. yep. I know exactly what you're talking so, about. Um, I might even have an example to show. I do actually, right here. Can't get the, off get <clears throat> the chrome bar off. So what he's talking about here is on these chrome strips. Yeah. What we're working with is. Save those. Dude. We got them. They're right here. Okay. But see, like how this post kind of spins and, right here. And you see how it, it there's an opening here. Where's the camera? Yeah. Yeah. There's a ledge. And it just pulls, pulls out. in and out there. Um, and so the, on this seat that we're working on, this is actually threaded. It's gonna be a bolt. Um, PT Mari, welcome to the stream. The way I installed my seat cover is to lace the bottom like you are tying a shoe. One, the cover is centered and tight, then put the metal knobs on. Oh, uh, okay. Do you, I see. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how... Yep. I don't... Well, let's yeah. focus on getting this... The, we got to be really careful with the chrome strip, for sure. Um, we don't want because to... Want to reuse that? We need to reuse that. So, I actually think... Can we grind these down? I don't just want to. I need to. What do you mean? The nuts? Yeah. And then the whole thing will pop off and we'll reuse. Well, what size are those nuts? I have no idea. We should. I, I got a bunch of like tiny, 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 yeah, tiny th stuff that's here. That's what I'm talking about. They just spin. Oh, it won't just go. Right. Yeah. <sighs> we could, I guess, just grind those off. And those are kind of a pain in the butt for sure. Because the those aluminum posts we were just looking at. We could um, use those we instead. We those and they just bend over. That's possible. Because I don't know how to get that. Uh, Are we sure that they're floating though? Can you see it spinning when you're turning it? Because I would think that yes. that, that would be a yeah. kind of a sloppy design. Okay. Okay. Let's look at it. Let's, Let's get you guys in right here. here. Let's not leave the people so behind here. what I was watching. Let me, let me go mobile here so I can get a good look at this. See, see how there's the high point uh, to the post, the threaded post? So let me see if I can turn it here. 
So that'll turn with the nut. See how it's turning? Can you see that? Yeah. You, you see what I'm talking about? So, how do you hold that? I don't... Is there something? Let's see. Just trying to think here. Because that seems weird that it would be a nut if it wasn't something that was locked right, in. Right. That's the only right. thing. So, I would, love, I would love to just first try to see if we can find a really small... Let's see what size these are. Bigger than that. Five, so five millimeters, too small. Let me see. We are just kind of working our way through this tonight. Thanks for joining. This is an impromptu adventure, and we just wanted everybody to come along. That six should be pretty close, because yeah. that one didn't fit. I think it's on. All right. Spins is the dilemma. Oh, I thought you had a, a socket. Let's see. Yeah, I've never seen that. Usually they're just kind of those bendy posts. Uh, Dave C., this is Brad from the UP. Hello. Hanging out. Um, he is a seat restoration expert. No. <laughs> <laughs> here, I, got, I think I got one here. Let's just try. Yeah, it just turns. Yeah, uh, that might actually be a little too big. <clears throat> Put a small nose pliers on the other end, then turn the nut. There's no way to get at it yeah, because the seat is there. The That's the end. problem. Is that the seat, like the seat cover is there. Or not the seat cover, the, the, trim, the, piece. the trim piece. The trim piece is there. I think it's actually a five. I think it's actually a five. Hey, Doc Jones. How are you, man? Good to see you. We are puzzling over a couple things here right now, trying to get this trim off of this seat. Again, everybody, Brad, welcome Brad to the stream. Hello. Uh, I just think we should just grind them off. We could just grind them off. I can grab the Dremel. I do want to see if I can just find a five, though. Dude, I think it is a six here. It didn't quite fit. It didn't quite fit. Here's a five. Here's a five. Could be right. Could be wrong. Yeah, it probably is a six. <sighs> well, that's frustrating. Yeah, because here's the predicament, guys, is that we're looking. Like, here's, yeah. the, here's the little nut right here. Where's the pick? Here. I, can, I can, yeah. So there's the nut, and it just spins when we're turning it. And we can't get at it because it's on the bottom side of the chrome strip. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, everybody? So we're kind of just trying to work through that process. I'll get the... Yeah, that's, that's a weird one. But I bet, there's a, I bet there is a slot in that 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 would slide into. So let me get the Dremel. And let's at least get one end of it apart. Right and see what's going on. Yeah, Doc Jones, uh, this is actually both of our first seats, so we're not experts at all. Um, we're, uh, we're just getting into kind of unknown territory at this point, and I just need to find my Dremel and go from there. What the heck happened? Oh, there it is right here. So here, let me switch cameras while I do this. Um, while Brad kind of puzzles around with that, I can kind of show you guys what's been going on over here. Uh, you will notice also in the shop that the Super Hawk is gone. Super Hawk is out in the garage at this point. PT Mari grinded off. I bought a new hard, hard, I bought new hardware from Lowe's. I would say CB77, okay. very similar to a CA77, both had side trim. Perfect. So we're grinding them off. We're going for the grind. That's what we're going to go for. That's what we're going to do. And I believe there should be some grinding wheels in this box, Brad. But we're super close here. 
takes two wrenches usually to do it. Really? Yeah. Jesus. I can deal with it. Right. So my chuck is broke on my Dremel, so it's only friendly really to me. Um, it doesn't like uh, unfamiliar hands, if you will. So yeah, we're gonna go for the grind. We'll cut them off and we'll go from there. But guys, check this out. Motor is pretty much all there. Um, motorcycle is in the garage, so it's ultimately just on me um, to get this motor put back together and do it. That's it. Yeah, I should, you know, I should just buy a new Dremel, but kind of cheap. Kind of a cheap guy. Grind it off. We're doing it. Now, hopefully, I've got some sort of a grinder. Do you think, do, do you have enough extra posts from other seats and stuff? I think I do have extra posts if we, if we do need them. Just focus in on this while I try to get this Dremel going. I got a cutting bit. I think a cutting bit's going to be about as good as we're going to get on this. Well, we're going to cut with it. So it's going to have to be good enough. Good enough. Thanks for joining the stream tonight. Have an impromptu live session here at Keep On Wrenching. Since this is the first seat, I kind of want to just like do a seat and then we'll, I'll make videos for another seat later on. I was like, oh, I could make a video on it tonight, but I just had this terrible feeling that we would end up just kind of spin our wheels a lot and it wouldn't be really all that useful to anybody. So Lord knows I got plenty of seats to deal with later on. So we'll get to it. By the suggestion of P.T. Mari, we are we grind the damn thing off. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, let's see. Let's get in here. Let's make sure we got a good view here. Whoops, guys. Sorry about that. Here. Here, I got. Here, I got. You got it? I got short. Got a short cord. I need, need a little bit of length here. Oh, the cup is in the way. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's get down in here. It's a real awkward spot to... <laughs> wheels just yeah, kind of thing. this bit ain't on there tight enough it's just spinning around and around wish I had um, just like a, a flat stone tool that would probably be the best I actually think that would work if we can get that tight enough that's the goal right now buddy yeah. that's the goal oh I just broke it Let's see. You know what? I've got a. I got a. I got the proper tool. I you think. Got an angle grinder? I don't think we get the angle grinder yeah, in there. It's overkill, but. I don't think it would even fit in there. That thing's so awkward. That thing's pretty awkward. What? Do you guys get any wrenching in? It's been pretty cold up here in Michigan. Got about what, five inches of snow the other day. So riding dreams are kind of over. I do have this like cutting bit. I think we'll just do this. This is guaranteed to cause damage. Be very careful when you remove the trim. You have to spread them a little to remove and install them. Yeah, I've, re I've removed these trim pieces before. I just haven't seen these nuts on them. That's the, that's the thing that's really different. I haven't seen these, like, having nuts on them. We're just going to cut. We're going to get, we're, we're going a little Neanderthal on this now, baby. We're going for it. We're going for it on this thing. I mean, can we just crank these off with... What? 
Look what what are you doing? Look what are you that. doing? What are you doing? Look at that. Oh, shit. Could you almost just cut it? I don't think so. I mean, that just... Here, let me, let me get at it with this. Okay. I bet we can knock this out pretty fast. That totally, that works. I hope you can see that on camera. I couldn't even tell um, if, if you guys could see that at all, but we'll get a better shot of it later on. But yeah, that totally works. Brad's gonna go to work over here now. Knock out these other ones. PT Mari, we're going for it. Let me get down in here. I kinda need both hands, dude. Just don't cut into the pan. Kind of just fell off eventually. New Jersey got some snow too, hey PT Mari. Yeah, it's got to be the last gasp of winter for sure. Doc Jones got a bit of wrenching in on the 750. Everything's apart now, but the engine. Go get it. Go get it. There's there a little booger. There we go, it's falling apart. You can see it disintegrating. Get it, there. I think that came off now. Yeah. All right, there's six of these? Six of these is oh, one good, in the corner. Good Lord. All right, well, this is an entertainment channel. Oh, that worked pretty good. It's kind of attacking the center a little bit. If you guys haven't, make sure to go to keeponwrenching.com, get that free sticker. Probably gonna get to those uh, addresses tomorrow. Tricky part here is trying not to hit the hit the actual pan. Nope, oh, that one's gone. Boom! Three down, three to go. Yeah. Let's move to the other side. Let's rip this out. Seat surgery, exactly, exactly, Doc. I did, I, I, you know, I did not anticipate these nuts being on here. Oh, that, one that one turned, that's pretty good. Dude, over here. Oh, sorry. Right. <laughs> I was why I was reading some chat. These nuts, they, these things are a bugger, man. These are uh, these are a bear cat, I would say. Okay, one more. One more. I'm glad PT Mari gave us the uh, go ahead to do this. We just gotta be really careful when we take the, that chrome ring off. Ooh. Careful! You break it, you buy it! There. 
Awesome. All right. So that's a big piece of this, man. So this. Careful, careful. I got to get it on camera. You can't, can't be moving stuff without to keep on wrenchers watching you. We don't want <laughs> to crimp it. Yeah, don't bend it. It should be perfect. It's just kind of, it should there just pull go. kind of out of there. there you go. A little bit. Yeah, look at that. This they are threaded. Look at that. Not cool, Honda. I think they changed that in future models here. Where was it? Careful. Yeah, this one. Hot, this one right there. See that? That is actually a threaded bolt. Sure. They definitely changed that in later models to where they were just like these pins. I think, I think we'll go back to the pins. Well, I don't know how we would do the... We don't have the bolt. Well, we yeah. could go buy new bolts, but I have pins. Yeah, let's So just, I think we can just use the just pins. Just bend those over. Just use the pins on that. Wait a second. What just happened here? I just saw... PT Mari, did you pick up a keep on wrench and mug from the store? I just I saw an alert pop up here. Um, how freaking cool is that? Uh, PT Mari, thanks so much, man. You went to... Got the keep on wrench and mug from the store... And man, I want to, yeah, they're good mugs. They are actually really, really good mugs. Um, God, I want to fire off some kind of an alert, but I don't think I have that set up. But PT Mari, thank you um, so much for that. I think I, I don't think I really have a ton of people um, purchasing stuff. So boom, Alan, Alan Bruton came in here. Um, are they all nuts or the pins that hold the chrome edging on? It's just the, uh, it's just the uh, chrome edging that have the, uh, the, the actual threaded it's stuff like on them. Threaded yep, it's a threaded stud. Yep, it's a, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, we can pop back over here. Streaming's kind of tricky because you got to watch like a, you're like a, so you like a s s lizard. Look at the screen and your hand at the same time. You can get really close with that and show that. It's like a threaded pin. Right, and grab one of the other ones. Too. With no hex. Yeah. Um, I it, dropped it, one on the floor. On yeah, these are just, right in the later models, they're actually just a pin right. like that. With no threads. No threads, just a, just should, a, just a pin. Let me see that, and I want to see if that'll make pop it, in. Make sure it fits. So. Dave C., I had a crappy week. I accidentally put a crack in the bottom of my gas 64 tank triumph oh that sucks waiting for my welder to get back to town to see if he can fix it i think it's fixable but it sucks yeah one one step forward a couple steps back sometimes man he'll be able to fix it for sure for sure kamari welcome to the stream thanks so much for being here tonight this is fun something a little different got some got some help in the shop tonight which is nice yeah that's really weird okay. that those are threaded like okay. that I'm going to put this in a safe spot, and maybe while you keep working on the seat. Dude, it's ready for the I can, big reveal. Ooh, let's get some camera. Let's get, make sure we got good camera angle here. Keep it in that spot as best as you can. Oh, yeah. How many years has this been on this seat? 67, and it was probably manufactured before that, so. All right. We're thinking that the cushioning is actually good on this, that we can just recover it. At least that's the hope. I'm gonna fold this back down and we're That's gonna start the from the back side. All right. We can move some of these tools too, just to make sure you got room to work. So Brad flew in from Austria last week um, just to work on this seat with me. No. Um, his grandfather uh, was a master uh, Japanese upholsterer. Honda upholsterer. Yeah. Oh, look, yeah. At that. look at that, dude. That's not good. A little crusty. <laughs> Go slow, or it's not a race. That's actually not bad. That's just this end. It's just this end piece here that's cra that's dry. We might have to find a replacement for that as I tap it with my finger and it falls off. But man, the main seat cushion looks absolutely beautiful, actually. Texavina. I don't want to spend four hundred dollars on a seat. That's the thing. It's like this: you think something's going to be really, really simple, and then it just turns into a, a thing. There like really, is. but this is beautiful, guys. Look at this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, what's going on? You got it. It's stuck. Look at all the pee stains yeah. in that seat. Sixty years of stick. Yeah, like this. I'm not too worried about this. Not too worried about this little indent, but this back this back panel, 
we could craft something to fit in here. This is just a is small piece hard? of, it, it is now, it's hard and dry, cracked. Oops, sorry guys, let me get you down a little bit. But yeah, this is really dry, cracked, brittly, breaks what, off. What about spray foam? Um, I don't think so. I think that we could actually find a piece of foam oh, okay. and cut it. Like, let's template I, this right now before we disintegrate it too bad. And then we can, uh, like, a rubber cement it onto the back end. It just needs to be that uh, same thickness. That's all you. If you got something in mind. I don't think spray foam's the answer for this. Spray foam's the answer to everything. Spray foam's the answer to everything. But yeah, this definitely needs to be replaced. Actually, yeah, if we, the problem with spray foam is it's so messy. Yeah, like I'd love to just cut a panel and then glue it in. Right. Do that's the, that's that same width. That's what I'm trying to think of, like what we could use. Um, Alan, are you going to steam the foam before recovering? Elaborate on what you're talking, yeah. elaborate on what you're talking about. This is the first seat that we have ever really tackled. I don't think we even knew to Didn't steam even know it. to steam it. Even if you just use steam setting on your iron, it'll expand it out to original shape. Awesome. I have an iron. We could actually try that. I had no idea that was even a thing. Oh, so do you steam it before you put the cover on? I would assume so. You know? Alan, can you clarify that in the in the comments? I would assume that is the case. Get aluminum in my beverage. Did we ruin your beverage? Shit. We'll replace it. Um, do not use spray foam. That's what Alan says. I trust you, Alan. You're our expert right now. Well, and I've actually had multiple projects uh, fail. I want to find a piece of foam um, that actually is going to be this kind of same width. Steam now. Awesome. All right. That is actually a really good transition point for this then. Um, you guys wanted um, before covering. Awesome. Do you have an iron? Yeah, I've got an iron. Well, where is it? Upstairs? I'll have to ponder that okay. for sure. All right. So I'm going to go find an iron. I'm going to go get some things together here. This is an awesome opportunity um, just to like drop this stream. This is 37 minutes. Um, we'll pop on with an update probably later tonight as we keep working through this thing. Um, I just I don't know where my iron is. I didn't even know that was a thing, Alan. Um, so thanks for mentioning that. And uh, now that we've got the cover off, now it's a whole other deal. And we're going to have to cut a panel. We're going to have to do all this. I don't even know what I can use. i got to get a little creative on, on that. So um, we're going to be back. So kind of if you haven't already, make sure that you go and click the, click the little bell on the YouTube channel. Uh, because that will alert you when we go live and when new videos come up. In the meantime, I have a video ready right now um, to go live with. So I am actually going to go onto my YouTube app right now and I'm going to change the visibility of this new video to public and you guys can enjoy that and then we'll pop back on for a live stream. So um, we'll give you a little bit of an update as we roll through this. This is fun. This is kind of running gun, uh, social video, community building, all this stuff. So yeah, we want to do it right. We don't want to rush through it. So we're going to get the iron. We're going to get the steamer. We're going to do that. Um, Dave, see, I think we, I got enough stuff around here that I think I'm going to be able to find the, find the right stuff. Um, so let's do that. So let's hit save on this video. A new video is live now on the YouTube channel. Um, it is moving day for the CB77 Super Hawk Restoration. Go check that out. And again, go hit that bell on the YouTube channel to alert you uh, when we go live because we'll come back with an update once we kind of strategize and figure out what we're doing. Um, Alan, I hope you can join us because <laughs> I think you're super, super helpful here so far, but I don't want to be spinning my wheels on the live stream and everybody just wanted shorter streams. So we're at uh, about 39 minutes right now on this stream. So awesome. I'm excited. Uh, stay tuned, everybody. We'll be back here in just a little bit. Go check out that new video on the YouTube channel. See you in a bit.